I've heard a lot of the mischaracterizations of my position since the President met with the House Democrats last Thursday, and I would like to make an attempt to clear up any confusion about where I stand on the legislation that's working its way through Congress. In all of my years of public service, and I've been around for a long time, I've never seen anything like this. The President of the United States has addressed the House Democratic Caucus twice recently to urge action on the bipartisan infrastructure bill, which sometimes we refer to as the BIF bill. Last week, the Speaker urged, Speaker Pelosi urged the importance of voting and passing the BIF bill before the President took the world stage overseas and still no action. In my view, this is not how the United States Congress should operate or, in my view, has operated in the past. The political games have to stop. Twice now, the House has balked at the opportunity to send the BIF legislation to the President. As you've heard, there are some House Democrats who say they can't support this infrastructure package until they get my commitment on the reconciliation legislation. It is time to vote on the BIF bill, up or down, and then go home and explain to your constituents the decision you made. And I've always said, if I can't go home and explain it, I can't vote for it, and if I can, I, I will. I've worked in good faith for three months, for the past three months, with President Biden, Leader Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, and my colleagues on the reconciliation bill, and I will continue to do so. For the sake of the country, I urge the House to vote and pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Holding this bill hostage is not going to work in getting my support for a reconciliation bill.